Alright, so hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you the how to make the countdown bot tutorial. Um, it's generally pretty simple. It doesn't demand many lines of codes as well. Um, there's multiple different ways of doing it. The way I'm going to show you is just so that it works on your server so we don't complicate our life with um, giving it like a, a, a user entry for the voice ID or anything. It's just simply going to be one channel on your channel on your server that's going to be able to use it. Um, so first things first, I'll have this link in the description, but it's my GitHub. I have like this plain bot. So if you follow my scrim tutorial, you already have a bot. But for those that don't have that, there's this plain bot here. It has it doesn't have the scrim stuff in it. It literally just does the uh, the first initial like index files and stuff. Anyways, so you click on clone or download, and then here you you copy that. All right, now you have that. You should have Git already installed in your computer. If you don't, I'll put that link in the description too. Y you have to get git to be able to do this. So then I'm just going to git clone. And then I'm going to paste this link I just got. Alright, you see how it's, it's cloning. So right now it'll take a few seconds. Or maybe more than a few seconds. It seems to be pretty slow to download a few megabytes. I'll cut the video and come back when it's done. Alright, so now the download's done. So if I type ls, you can see uh, I get the plain bot directory. So I'm just going to type cd. I'm going to type plain bot. Ex exactly how it's written. You need to have the capitalization and everything. So now you see how it says master? That means I'm in the GitHub. So if I ls again, I have all the files here. Alright, so now if you have VS Code installed over your computer, you can simply just type code dot and it will open in. Alright, so instead of grabbing my window, I ended up tearing apart the the OBS screen so I'm gonna do that again so when you type code dot like I just did here if you have VS code it's installed especially it will open this this is your text editor so it's just a quick way to open the whole project in one chunk so it, forget the image one it's only useful for the drop command but it's not even in this bot so um all right so to do this first things first we're going to add a file i'm going to call it count.js all right and then i'm just going to put this put this away for a second and here we got to install a few things so i'm just going to open a, a tab so i can make sure i install all the right things all right so first things first we're going to npm install and then the first thing we're going to install is the youtube YouTube download core because we're going to use a YouTube link to get the, the voice and then never, always write the dash dash save at the end just to save it into your package alright and then we got that so now we're going to do npm install and we're going to download the binaries so ffmpeg dash binaries and then we're going to save that as well This may take a few seconds. Alright. And then the last thing we need to install, npm install, and it's this is the pr the the one that's causing issues on Windows, but I've tested it this morning and it works. So it's called core. Is it core? I think it's Opus Core. I think core opus. Oh, we'll see. I'm, I don't remember exactly what it is. If, if it if it gives me an error here, that means I got the wrong thing. If it doesn't, then I means I got the good. All right, so I got the wrong thing. So simply just npm install opus core. Oh, I get both errors. NPM install Opus Core. Ah, wow. My bad. So, it's not Opus Core, it's Node Opus. <laughs> My bad for that. I had a little brain freeze there. 
So this is gonna write a bunch of shit to your computer. Um, it takes a few seconds. Don't even try to read what it says. It's it's just packages getting installed. All right. So now we got all these three things done. We can close our Git terminal and bring VS Code up here. Make sure it takes up the whole screen. And I'm going to make the font bigger so we have less typo issues. Okay. So. Um, just give me one sec, I'm just making sure I have everything set up. Alright, so first things first, we're going to use our, um, for, uh, one of our NPM models, we download the YouTube core one. So we're going to use constant, we're just going to call it YouTube DL, and then we're going to require that package itself. So it's YouTube DL core. Just like that. And then we're gonna use our uh or like a entry line for a new command. So it's modules dot exports dot run. And then this is equal to the async of dot message and args. And then before we start anything I'm just gonna export it so we don't have issues with that so model export help equals name and the name of it is count if you want to do countdown you could do countdown here and you have to change the name of the file though but counts is simpler shorter um all right so now we're going to write the core of it so first things first we need our stream options so stream options are basically what the the volume and the speed of the the video will go so we have our, our seek is going to be zero, and then our volume is going to be one. And then, so here we're going to put our voice channel ID. All right. Make sure you capitalize it the right way. So I did voice and then channel with a big C and then ID both capitalize. And this is going to be the ID of the channel that we want to have the countdown go off to. So if I open my Discord, give me one second, I'm just going to open it up. Uh, da -da -da. All right, so you have here. Make sure you're in developer mode. If you're not, I'll show you right now. You go user settings, you go appearance, scroll down on appearance, developer mode, and you make sure it's that's on. And then you just go here, copy ID, right? So this is the voice channel I want to use. Right click, copy ID. That's all we need from Discord. Paste it right there. Put a semicolon at the end. And then we're good to go. So now we're going to just do a console.log. I'm going to say, Start, this is just a track if you get errors. So starting voice, voice command. All right, underneath this, we're going to check. So make sure our voice channel ID is not equal to null. If it's equal to null, that means something went wrong. So we're just going to do a test quick. If it's not, then we open up and we keep going. So then we're going to check. So if, if the message dot guild Oh, I hit the window key. Alright, here we go. So, message.guild.channels. And we're going to get, we're going to get our voice channel, voice channel ID. So basically what we're doing here, we're going on to our, where the message was written. So we're going to take that, that server. So let's say you've written any channel on your Discord. We just check the ID of which, um, Discord server that is, and then out of all the channels, we're trying to get the one right here with that with this ID. 
and if if we get that that means we're able to connect to it so we're going to create a vc for voice channels just shorter and it's going to be equal to message dot guild dot channels dot get the exact same line as we did before on top it's just if i write this first and then it causes an error it will crash the bot if you write the if here before it will try to get do it if it can't then it won't let you so now we're going to console log next step connecting connection I guess yeah that works alright so now we're going to take our VC which is our voice channel with the ID in it and we're going to make it join alright and then after it joins we're going to make it connection and from there we're just going to console log again and I like to make these ones more obvious so this is voice channel and then joined count down channel and then here we're going to do the the pretty much the weird the we the real piece of the whole project it's we're, we're going to stream from YouTube DL and then I'm going to stream this link here I'll put it in the description this is just a video with a count on it that I've been using it's not necessarily the best one or anything like that it's just the one I've always been using so no no personal preference or anything on it it's just that and then we're going to filter it and we only want the audio we don't care about seeing the video and everything like that we just want the audio of it and then we're going to create a new constant it's going to be our dispatcher and sorry if I'm going too fast right now just the faster I go the long less time it takes to upload so we're going to take our connection and we're going to play it streams I'm just going to God, I can't type right now. Alright, so play stream. And then we're going to stream and our stream options. And I did a typo here. Make sure you come back. I just realized it. I put streal. This is supposed to be stream. Okay? Make sure you change that because I don't want to get messages with people with that error. Change it right now. Put stream. Because we need to use it here. And then we use our stream options up here. So when you double click on something, it tells you where it is. Right? make sure those two things light up alright so now we join the connection and then we're gonna stream it so when we use our dispatcher and then we want to to leave it after right so we don't want the, the bot to stay in the countdown forever because that won't work the next time that you'll try to do the countdown so when it ends we just want to console.log voice count is that what I wrote? voice channel alright and then left the countdown channel I'm just going to put a dot here but you don't need to that's not going to cause errors and then we're going to go to our voice channel and then we're just going to leave simple as that Oh, let's put a semicolon there. Let's put a semicolon. No, actually not not here, because we're going to catch an error. If we get an error, let's catch it before it does anything wrong. So if we catch it, we're just going to console.log here itself. Then we can semicolon. And I verify everything closes correctly. All right, so that should be done. Let's give it a go. So if you downloaded my uh, GitHub thing, so you have nothing here, right? If you followed the, the the tutorials, your settings, you already have your own bot and stuff in it. But if you didn't, you don't. So go to. I'm gonna open it here. Oh shit. Okay. So go to uh, Discord app dot developers. So like Discord dot app slash developers. All right. This will open this page here. I'm just going to create a new one for this. I'm gonna put it. Call it. Call it. YouTube countdown you can write whatever you want this will be the name of the bot on your server you can also change this image if you want okay I'm gonna save these changes I'm gonna go to bot tab add a bot yes same name here click to reveal its token I'm just gonna copy its token 
I'm gonna put it right here. And then if I want to know what's my uh, user ID, I copy up on my name, copy ID, and I put it here. So I'll do that again because I did it kind of fast. You go over your name, copy the ID. That's that's the owner ID, right? Now I'll save that. Since this is a brand new bot, so it's not added to any server, I'm going to do that right now. So, um, give me one second. Invite Discord bot to server. I just Google it every time. I don't know how to. Honestly, I don't know what's the line by heart. So. I just know I'm just looking for a link right here. I got the link. Okay, so I'm gonna put this up here. I'm gonna change permission to to eight, and then right here where it says your bot client, you go into. Um, do I still have that open? Yeah. So you go here. In general information, this client ID right here. You copy that. Alright, and then you change it up here, exactly where it says client ID. And then if I press enter, it should try to invite it. So you choose server, I'm going to add it to my... Um, which server should I put it in? I want to put it in that server. Okay. So, now it's, it's added. I'm going to up here, just new terminal. Type ls to make sure I'm in the thing. I'll clear that. Alright, so now I'm going to type node index.js. If I get an error, it should show up. I didn't get a syntax error. We'll see if I get a real error this time. So I'm going to join the channel. And uh, account. Oh, shit, I got more. Match starting. Three. Match starting. Two. Three. One. Two. Go. One. Go. One sec. I'll, I'll fix that. <laughs> I have three bots running at the same time. Um. Okay. So I'll do that again, just with one this time. I'll hold, I'll bring my volume up so you guys can hear. Match starting. Three, two, one, go. I don't know if you're able to pick that up on the mic. But if so, then that's pretty much it. You gotta count down bot for your server. Um if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe. This helps me grow the channel and make more videos since the channel is really small. Also, uh have a great New Year's everyone and have a great day.